if you mess up your gut then it becomes highly porous that will allow flow of bacteria from your gut into your bloodstream and that can lead to sepsis okay yeah so that is uh, number one number two there's this thing that i call protein allergies that most of you refer to as protein allergies i wanted to know that most of these protein allergies are brought about by wheat products and wheat products what they do is they alter intestinal permeability so they make it more porous through the substance called gluten once it becomes more porous then substances can flow in and out of your bloodstream anyhow including protein particles and when when these protein particles get into the bloodstream and they get or an access into uh, the immune system then the white blood cells do not recognize them as their own so they don't know proteins as uh, body cell, uh, the cells of the body and therefore what they do they start fighting it once they start fighting you get those reactions and those skin eruptions on your on your face on your skin and you call it protein allergy and the reason why you call it protein allergy is because you don't want to blame wheat you want to blame the protein rather than the wheat so the solution here will be you stop eating wheat products and then your permeability of the gut goes back to normal and then you can enjoy your protein diet so basically that is it